So if a young person came to you and said, Michael, I want to be a designer in the theater, I want to design, where should I do, what should I, how should I do that? How, what would you advise them? Well, there was quite a period of time when I worked at the theater school when I was professionally involved in training young designers, you know what I mean? And uh, the, my uh, clear answer would be uh, enroll here and uh, do our program and, uh, you know, not only will you possibly learn a few moves and some technique, but you'll also begin uh, to build a kind of network of contacts and relationships and stuff which will serve you uh, perhaps for your whole career in the, in the same way that I'm sure you did too. Bill Davis, Tata, you know, I did too. So um, that's what I would say then and what I did say and uh, I tried my best to make it happen for as many of our students as I could. And in terms of the technology, all the emerging technologies and all the internet and all the mashups and everything else, would you encourage them to, because theater it seems to me is being marginalized, right? The other kind of spectacle forms are growing, uh, electronic forms, but we're holding our own, but we're not, we're not growing at the rate that we did grow, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I have no, you know, I have no solution for that. I mean, uh, you know, the advice and counsel that I would give students that we had at the school uh, in design is not the same as what I would give today. I mean, I would, I would be tempted to discourage a kid <laughs> nowadays. I would, just because it's just, it's too hard. It's really a hard life, a terrible hard life. Do, any, do your kids want to go in show business? Funny about that, huh? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> is it too hard financially? Is it too hard career-wise? Is it too hard? How is it? It's too, too hard? hard in all of those ways, and you know, I'm just, I, I'm just, I don't have any kids, but if I did, I think I would discourage them from, uh, you know, from doing this. But if it was, if they were determined then I would do everything I could to help them, you know, like, what else can you do? But, I mean, people say, follow your dream, okay. People say, you can be anything you want in your life. You know how, like, like parents will say to their alpha kids, you know, like, <laughs> you, you can be anything you want in your life. Yeah, but what if he's stupid? <laughs> you know, I mean, the biggest problem that alpha kids have is their alpha parents. <laughs> I'm serious. I have a few friends of mine. Michael Eagle on parenting. You know, <laughs> it's the pursuit of happiness, which we all, you know, we all want to believe is, is possible for everyone, and God help us, it should be. But what if you just can't be whatever you want to be, you know? Like, what if you're just dumb? <laughs> what if you've got no talent? Who is it? Was it Malcolm Black said to me? Wonderful phrase. Um, Nothing has more confidence than no talent. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah. In fact, some of the most, well, I think most of the highly talented people that I know do not have a lot of confidence. It's an odd mismatch. You know, the high, high talented people have yeah. always got doubt. I mean, I would advise the kid to, I would advise the student to get, same as I did when I taught at the school a lot, to get as basic as, as a grounding as you can in all of the techniques that a designer needs to know how to do, to, to learn as much about architectural history as you can, to become a whiz-bang draftsman, to, you know, to learn as much about costume history and, and art history as you can, uh, possibly, so that you, even if you're not a brilliant conceptualist, you'll still have a, you'll still be armed with a, with some good information and some good techniques and a set of moves, you know what I mean, that make you a professional. I mean, that's the very least you could, you could, be. that's easy. I mean, that, it's not easy, but I mean, it's doable. But if, a great artist, uh, it, it's the quantum leap to, to greatness is not as hard as if, if you're armed with technique. 
It's back to uh, what, whoever, Kafka or somebody said it. Kundera said it, Kundera, Milan Kundera. But I mean, that's what he was talking about really, yeah. is that um, if you've got some technique, then it's easier to create, it's easy, well, you got something to work with here, you got some moves.